Hello, and as my final video for 2023, I want to explain that. Of course, it's the 2.8 auto troop carrier. Why am I building another troop carrier? And I know a lot of you have asked that question. Well, I'm going to now tell you. It's because of something else I'm building alongside it. I'm Andrew St. Pierre White, explorer, overlander and broadcaster with over 40 years driving 4x4s in association with the Overland Workshop. Firstly, a shout out to my Patreon supporters. Uh, <laughs> thank you for your support. And thank you for those who've just watched and commented, particularly of the 800 plus comments on the Ineos Grenadier review. Thank you for your contribution. I have really enjoyed reading the comments. And of course, Patreons, thank you. I read every Patreon comment. I don't respond to every one of them, but I do respond to many, many, many of them. Mm -hmm. And obviously on YouTube, well, I was particularly interested in your take on my take of the Ineos Grenadier. Right, back to the 2.8 troop carrier. You might be saying, same old, same old, Andrew. Yes, I'm not denying it. There are some new products and some interesting things that I've learned in the past that I will be applying to this. But the reason for it is actually because it's one of two vehicles that I will be building in 2024. This one is a celebration of the Australian four-wheel drive industry. I've been in the country now It'll be seven years next year, and I have received such a warm welcome from you all that I would like to say thank you by focusing on, particularly on, family businesses supporting the four-wheel drive community in Australia. It's amazing. You guys do some amazing, amazing things. So all, I, don't, I, won't, say, I won't commit to all, where practical, if I can find something good in, in Australia, it will go onto that vehicle. I'm not intentionally going to look all over the world for accessories for that troop carrier. That's the first thing. And the reason, of course, I'm doing that is that I, I am one of those, I am part of the four-wheel drive community. I have a family business supported by the four-wheel drive community. So when you support me on Patreon, you're basically saying, we love the show enough, Andrew. I know you can get it for free. And I want to make sure that those of you that enjoy the show that cannot, don't have the resources to support the show, can also enjoy the bills. All right. But it's you Patreons that enable me to, well, for example, the Africa Land Cruiser is looking so good. But that, that's costing me. I, I purchased that vehicle with money from supporters of the show. And while a lot of the components were donated, in inverted commas, they get media in return, labor costs and things like that, my air tickets, Gwyn is going to be joining me. I'm doing a solo trip through the Kalahari and then I'm meeting her and we're going to Zambia, we're going to Luangwa, we're going to then drive the length of Lake Malawi. And that's going to happen in April next year. I digress. But it's Patreons that make that kind of thing possible. Right. Back to this Australian celebration, as I mentioned, but building with it is the build that I've been speaking about now for almost a year. In fact, it was February 2023 that I ordered, wait for it, a Toyota Hiace. Now in Australia, there is a company called Bus 4x4 that do a four-wheel drive conversion of the Hiace van. Okay, and I went and had a look at it, and I drove it. It's got Land Cruiser 200 transfer box. It showed such promise that I thought that I should do a build of that and the troop carrier simultaneously. They both have the same engine, 2.8 four-cylinder turbo diesel. All right, they are both vans this is not a traditional van but it is a van and because it's a van it's because it's what makes the troop carrier so wonderful it's the fact that it is a compact van but the high ace 
is a traditional van. It's a lot bigger than a trip carrier. Now, I've always said trip carrier is perfect for two people. It's, I cannot think of a better overlander for two people than a trip carrier. But for four, it, 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 it's, it's too difficult for the third and fourth persons to get in and out. Access is too limited. And because if you have a back seat, you can't turn the van part and do enough to the van part. I think in that case, I'd probably go for a four five door station wagon than a troop carrier. But the high ace four wheel drive means that I've got a proper four, even five seater people carrier that I can make every bit as comfortable, convenient, superb overland tourer as the troop carrier. And of course, the big question is this. And in fact, this is the challenge with both of these cars. And I think you will agree with me. This is not a pretty car. In fact, I actually think it's quite ugly. Right, hi Ace. It's a delivery van. So I've got two things to worry about with the high ace. Okay, firstly, I've got to make it look good. I've got to try and make this look good. But I think the high ace is even more difficult to make look good. And secondly, how good is the high ace off road? How good is it really? The manufacturers say it's really good and da 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 da, but it's all media hype. I want to know how good is it really? And that's my job to build both of these vehicles in tandem through 2024 and be able to make a direct comparison because the, the, the cost of this and a cost of a high ace with that conversion, there's a, don't quote me, but not, it's the, the difference in price is a, or somewhere around 10 to $12,000. It's not in a totally different price league. So these two vehicles are imminently comparable. So now you know what we're going to be doing in 2024. The cat is out of the bag. If you want to follow both of these vills, if you go on to www.4xoverland.com, there's a section there about all of the vehicles that I have built. And in fact, all the vehicles I have owned but more specifically, side by side, the diary of this vehicle and the highest, which is due in February uh, 2024. Uh, and we will start test driving it in its standard form to start with, no load. And then we're going to be building it up into an amazing and what I honestly think will be the perfect vehicle for a lap. And that's what I'm going to do. My plan is at the end of it, at the end of 24, I'm going to do a lap of Australia in 25 and I'm going to choose which vehicle to do it in. That is 2024. So I, again, I'd like to appeal to you if you're enjoying the show, help me like you would do and like I will be encouraging you to do. If you've got a choice of buying something on Amazon or buying something from a local family, buy it from the local family, even if it costs you an extra $10. Honestly, so what? Support local industry. And it doesn't matter which country. I know a lot of you are in the United States. I have a huge uh, audience in the US and South Africa, very, very big South support local families and local businesses why wouldn't you do that and as far as i'm concerned if i came to your place you'd offer me a beer you'd offer me a coke you'd offer me a coffee well i'm asking you to i'm accepting your offer of a coffee in fact every month and remember on patreon it is a monthly and to make it and it says per video but remember you just cap it decide how much per video and then cap the amount that you're happy to contribute and you will never be charged more than that amount so it is in fact 
a monthly amount. If you don't like the Patreon platform, and a few, few people don't like it, uh, the alternative is buy me a coffee. Links both in the description. All right, in January, I will be celebrating 40 years of a remote overland exploring. And I've got three videos that I'm going to be launching, what releasing in January. And they are from my oldest, oldest archives. I used to kind of make home movies about my trips. And as you can imagine, they were a little bit different from your average home movie. I've re-edited them and I will be presenting them to you as a celebration of my 40 years doing this in January. Hello, my name is David Attenborough. Here's another one of these fantastic pans in the middle of this great open expanse of dried desert soil. And in this pan are more of these fascinating creatures, these small insects that occasionally give away their presence by making the mud look as if it's boiling. Uh, the insects are a, an anomaly to me. I have no idea what they are. And uh, so we'll go and find some animals we know more about. And as I bow out of 2023, I'm going to leave you with that. What do you think? You know, from this angle, looks like a 60 series. I am getting used to it. it. Drives nicely though. I do actually like it to drive. And a review coming up very, very soon about this car. <laughs>